so honoured to meet you. I'm going to put it on to record straight away so that we don't miss anything because this is the crazy time. <laughs> oh, bless you. I'm, a, I'm actually going to let Danielle um, start off this show, Simon, because the intel has come directly from her, but it's massive, massive news. She can tell you what she's got and then we can break it down between the three of us. Very good, very good. Okay, well, thank you, Charlie and Simon. Very, I'm very honoured to meet you. Nice to see you. Um, I just got off the phone with Daniel, Daniel Dowell, and he got direct intel that on the less than five hours, Executive Order 13959 is going to go into effect. And if you look on Wikipedia right now, you can see the list of companies that uh, are going to go uh, are going to be taken down by the U.S. This executive order says prohibiting investment in communist Chinese military companies, which basically means a declaration of war. Um, what I heard is that parlay is already down and that in a couple of hours, all the big media channels will going to go down as well. Um, and with this executive order, the declaration of war is going to be uh, taking place. So massive, massive, massive news. And what I hear, did you hear the same thing, Simon? Uh, um, yes, but I thought it was going to happen on Wednesday. So did we, Tuesday, Wednesday? Yes. Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes. But yes, it's, it's been taken uh, uh, up, right. to the, up to now. Yeah, okay, great. I would imagine they've started the process earlier because the Chinese will have got wind of it. And we know what they're like when they get wind of things. They try and change the dynamics and the, everything else that goes with it. Um, so I would imagine they've, they've been caught on the hop uh, by, I, by I, activation. I, did, I mean, I did a, uh, a half past one this morning. I did a podcast uh, saying that, you know, China was now uh, putting a lot of pressure on North Korea, attempting to up the ante regarding nuclear threats and and it might be that china's beginning now to use its age i'm so honored to meet you i'm going to put it on to record straight away so that we don't miss anything because this is the crazy time <laughs> oh bless you i'm a, i'm actually going to let danielle um start off this show simon because the intel has come directly from her, but it's massive, massive news. She can tell you what she's got, and then we can break it down between the three of us. Very good, very good. Okay, well, thank you, Charlie and Simon. Very, I'm very honoured to meet you. Nice to see you. Um, I just got off the phone with Daniel, Daniel Dowell, and he got direct intel that on the less than five hours, Executive Order 13959, is going to go into effect and if you look on wikipedia right now you can see the list of companies that uh, are going to go are going to be taken down by the us this executive order says prohibiting investment in communist chinese military companies which basically means a declaration of war um, what i heard is that parlay is already down and that in a couple of hours, all the big media channels will going to go down as well. Um, and with this executive order, the declaration of war is going to be uh, taking place. So massive, massive, massive news. And what I hear, did you hear the same thing, Simon? Uh, um, yes, but I thought it was going to happen on Wednesday. So did we, Tuesday, Wednesday? Yes. Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes. But yes, it's it's been taken uh, uh, up right. to the, up to now. Yeah. Okay. Great. I great. would imagine they've started the process earlier because the Chinese will have got wind of it, and we know what they're like when they get wind of things. They try and change the dynamics and the everything else that goes with it. Um, so I would imagine they've they've been caught on the hop uh, by, I, by I, activation. I, did, I mean, I did a uh, at half past one this morning. I did a podcast. Uh, saying that, you know, China was now uh, putting a lot of pressure on North Korea, attempting to up the ante regarding nuclear threats. And and it might be that China's beginning now to use its agents throughout the world. And maybe America's bosses has decided that we've got to act now. So I, I noticed that. 
and also there's a, a lot of issues now between Israel and Iran in the Gulf yeah. and I yeah. think it's getting a little bit out of hand so uh, Daniel, it might just be that Daniel it might literally be that I mean but I wish I you, your news is hot to me because I'm still <laughs> sitting here thinking Tuesday Wednesday I've got plenty of time just to take it easy uh, and then when Charlie gave me a ring and I thought that actually makes sense based on what I said this morning at half past one yeah. And what we said last uh, week, Charlie, on the video is that we need a global scenario. Uh, we need to take it off the elections of the US and move it onto a global perspective. And we were actually waiting for it to heat up that the Iran scenario, the China yeah. scenario is necessary for us to move into martial law and for us to be able to make this a global problem. Which, which is going to be very scary for, for, for all of us, but it's necessary to take, to take all the system of corruptions down. Yeah, um, I, I, think, I think to justify, I don't like that word, but for the public to justify this. I mean, yes. I, I understand that a number of oil tankers in the Gulf have already been mined, but the mainstream media are keeping that quiet. Yeah, yeah. And what this is going to mean if this executive order is going to go take place, it will take down the whole Chinese market, the big companies. So you have to look at, look at the list. I mean, Huawei is in there, uh, Alibaba is in there. All these big companies are going to come down. And the three Gorge Dam companies in there as well, which is connected to the BTC mining. So what we expect oh, is that the whole market, the Bitcoin market, will come crushing down as well. Charlie, and, if, if the miners come down, yeah, that's going to have a huge uh, effect of confidence and that should actually see a big collapse. Do, do you think so? 100%. Yeah. I can see that yeah. being a critical part of this to, for people to wake up to see what's actually going on. I think Daniel alluded to, to it there to take the focus off, um, which is the, the uh, smoke screen, if you like, the pantomime of the, the election between Trump and Biden. This is between... The, the, the civilized world and the, the CCP. Yes, um, North Korea already being together with Trump, with the Trump team. Yeah. If China is going to respond with war, what we expect is that the US will respond with an attack with the rods of God to take down the nuclear weapons of the CCP. This is necessary to take all the evil down. And North Korea is already on board with Trump. Yeah. Well, well, hang on, Daniel. What, be a little bit more specific. Um, okay. What What are you? Uh, <clears throat> what I'd heard was that non. We're talking non-nuclear weapons here, aren't we? Um, what I heard is that under the Three Gorge Dam, the yep. China still yep. has a lot of nuclear weapons. Right. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Them, I, they're not neutron. <clears throat> they're not neutron weapons under the dams, are they? They're not I'm not neutron. sure. In my information says that that's why the Three Gorge Dam has right. to be taken down because it's connected to Wuhan, yes. to all the evil laboratories, right. to all the human trafficking that right. comes from Wuhan I, via I, the Silk Road. I, I totally agree. What I'm saying is that I don't believe that they are nuclear weapons under there because that would create an enormous uh, uh, fallout cloud. I think what, what I understand is it's um, a virus laboratory like we have in Porton Down in Britain. I understand yeah. that there's a, an underground city where people are being experimented on. Yeah. Uh, and I, I was concerned for me is whether the neutron bombs, which were outlawed, but we know most major places have them, whether they were stored there as well. I just wondered yeah. if, you, if you had any intel on that. What I heard is that there are still weapons under there that have to be taken down and they're going to be using the rods of God. Yeah. Daniel asked me to make the comparison to the movie G.I. Joe 2. Yeah. I just asked Charlie, I don't know this movie, but apparently it, the script of the movie uh, right. gives an idea of what's going to take place. Uh, and they are going to be using the rods of God. The rods of God have been used a lot over this year to take down the dumbs, yes. to clear out the uh, the dumbs under the under the earth. Yes. But they will be used 
if there's going to be a, a war, nuclear war, to take down the last evil that needs to be taken down. I, I, don't, I don't believe there'll be a nuclear war. No, uh, it's going to be a scare event. Yeah. It's going to be, it's the scenario uh, that is necessary uh, to go to the alert all over the world. Uh, Bay of Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, do you think then that that will have an effect on organizations like CNN? Absolutely, absolutely. Now, well, what we expect is that in the coming few hours, all the media will is going to be taken down because they are not uh, sharing the truth. Mm -hmm. We're not hearing anything uh, via the media. So they have to go down first. Yep. And what will happen is that Project Odin will be uh, opened yes. via the Starlink, uh, yep. which is already parallel uh, yep. with the media satellites, with the Mossad satellites. But they will be taken down first. Yes. And well, what we expect is that that's going to be parallel with the Executive Order 139. That will, that will bring some calm to the Gulf, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Um, oh, thank you. That's that's wonderful news. Um, you know, um, I, I'm glad the sooner the better. Can't come yes, soon enough. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> and that's where we are right now. There's nothing more Trump can do. There's nothing more evil or corruption that has to be uh, shown to the public. We are there. It's all there. It's just not shared via the via the media channels. So the media channels have to go down. Project Odin needs to go into effect. Char Char Charlie, in that case, then the emergency broadcast will have to be used if they're going to break that down. What, what do you think, Charlie? Do you think that um, they will actually not just do that, but do you think they'll intercept televisions and, and beam stations onto that? What, what do That's you Project Odin. Yes. Yeah. But do you think they'll do it right across the US or will they do it to the world? What, what will they do? Globally. I <clears throat> yeah. Right. I wasn't sure. I didn't know whether it was just for mainland US or whether they would do it for everywhere. I think and that's why we need the nuclear uh, uh, scare right. event, because yeah. then we go over to the, uh, the emergency broadcasting globally. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. And the one thing that, that you and I, well, we all know the same thing, that we, if you take the global um, media, it's controlled by six people. Hmm. So it's not exactly a, a big thing to do to get it out globally. It's not like you've got to go to a thousand people. To hit every country in the world, every country in the world uh, has a, has the mainstream media controlled by a total of six people. Um, so it won't be that hard to get the message out. Um, the hardest part will be for people to understand what the hell's going on. And that's where we all come in here to try and give them clarity. And this is what this will do to make people realize. And of course, China's between a rock and a very hard place right now um, because they've got no defense. They've tried to interfere in a foreign election. Uh, namely the United States of America. They funded everything. They have all the evidence. Um, but, you know, you know what they're like. They'll, they'll, they'll slither around. They'll slide around. They'll point the finger at somebody else. They'll create confusion and fear. Um, and our job is to try and keep the truth out there and to give people clarity as to what's really happening. I don't know if you caught the news, but um, uh, the majority House Speaker has decided that she won't fast track the impeachment now. There you oh, go. Right. So something's hmm. beginning to make its way through to her thick skull. Yeah. Well, it, it was <laughs> exactly. But I also noticed in the way that for the last four days, there's a certain humility about him as if he's leaving office to lull her into a false sense of security yeah. to say, well, I'm on my way. Yeah. Um, and maybe people have gone around, look, he's on it. Why, why would you do this? He's on his way. Hmm. Um, and this is the, this is the art of war. This is the, the, five-dimensional chess that he's playing. Hey, uh, listen, for, for, for as bad as she is, she, she, they must have advisors. Uh, they must be advised what is happening around the planet. They must be aware. I mean, are they that stupid, Charlie? Um, it's, it's, I don't think stupid is the word. I think arrogant is the word. They've been in control for so long, they just don't think it's possible that anybody right. could actually take them down. They've got away with so many things for so long. And I've seen it in my life where people have got away with something for so long, they just assume the right. Okay. Um, I talked to a guy on, on my show called uh, David Nino Rodriguez, who was basically unbeatable as a boxer. And the two times he got beaten when, is when he thought he didn't need to train as hard and just went in complacent. Then he got knocked out. Uh, when he was scared when he went in there, 
um, he, he was never threatened. But the minute he got complacent, and this is what we're going through, we're going through an arrogance that mm. these people have been in control for so long, they don't think that little minions like you and I and Danielle can cause any waves, and suddenly they'll wake up and go, shit, what mm. just happened? And that's the brilliance of the plan. That's the brilliance of the bringing down of these house of cards. What they did is when you take a few cards out, not necessarily the top, but in halfway and at the bottom and actually start waking people up and sharing information from uh, not from top bottom, but from bottom up. And there's pieces missing. Now, all of a sudden, everything's creeping in. And they now they feel that it's 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 massive. It's just not pieces or people have been taken out. The whole house of cards is going to go come down. Oh, so Dan, down. Danielle, we're really talking about electronic war here at the moment in this phase, aren't we? Yes, absolutely. But, absolutely. but you would have to move to a uh, a more physical if they wish to deprive China of an immediate vengeance retaliation. Yes, yes, absolutely. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Then I, 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 I really think that um, what we would call the back engineered uh, space weapon technology has to be used because it would not be possible to get any other form of conventional missile in to take that base out. So that's the only thing, the same weapon actually that was used in Nashville. Um, so I, I look forward to that. Yes. Yes, it's it, again. It's the brilliance of the plan. It's 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 building up the QFS system. It's pulling up all the Starlings. Project Odin being ready. It's already there. That's why it needed all this time. Yes. And now it's just a matter of flipping switches. Executive orders have been in place. Uh, evidence have been gathered. Yes. Now it's a matter of flipping switches and flipping switch oh, satellites. So Danielle and and Charlie, what and. I mean, I don't want an answer now because I haven't got one, but I'm going back to your point, Charlie, when this occurs or when things like this occur, how can we best support humanity? Um, and I'm, in, I'm a Brit, I'm in Britain, but I've got a strong connection with US and Charlie's got the same. What can we do? I mean, if we get, if, if we're offline, we're offline. Is there any way that anyone can get a message to somebody that we can have some form of input, even if it's just once a week, that we can get online so that we can have these sort of discussions and support people? And support people, yes. I'm looking for that as well because I'm right. getting a massive amount of messages right now of light workers around the world who yeah. say, we want to be there for people when this is yeah. all going to go down. Absolutely. The awakening for people will be so sudden and brutal. Absolutely. Uh, and it's, well, it's my job and I think really my mission as well to yeah. maybe have a platform where we can say, we know what's going to uh, going on. You don't have to be scared. This is actually a good thing happening. But yes, how can you, do you have any ideas? This is why, this is why I set up the uh, drcharlieward.com as our own platform. But we also set up a separate one called the Jasara Club, which we've now got 30 or 40 people on, so that when people want to come, they don't have to take my word, they can listen to anybody else on there. Um, so we've tried to create a hub away from the mainstream social media platforms. And I'm going to go a stage further that, that we'll have our own servers uh, specifically um, for the truth. And uh, it doesn't matter what your truth is. Um, your truth may be different to my truth, but my wife said to me yesterday, she said, why are you watching the other side? I said, because I need to understand <laughs> what they're up to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sometimes you have to listen to all the lies to understand what you're up against. Oh, I, I, I watch the BBC every day. So, I, I want to know. I'm not just looking at words. I'm looking for body language. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm reading all the newspapers in Holland as well, just yeah. to see where the propaganda's going. And sometimes white hats are in place already, because what I've seen in Holland is that the narrative of China and the communism has actually been pushed as a positive thing. And I think it was to open up the consciousness of people that that couldn't be the way we want to go, could it? I think it was really pushed for a reason. So, yes, I read 
and and watch everything and I've tried to work in between and feed my children but <laughs> I'm I'm receiving information all day long and all night it's long, interesting really. to see how fox are flip-flopping all the time at the moment it's quite interesting because they're they're trying they're, 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 they're trying both sides they're not committing to either they're flip-flopping all the time those, those, those days are gone Charlie you yeah have one side of the fence or the other and I think exactly. it's Foxes it's white heads or black heads there's yeah, nothing exactly. in between and I, I find it really well interesting but hard to do, to distinguish where white hats were already infiltrated and where we still were dealing with black hats because at the front of the stage we had to be woken up that it was actually propaganda going on uh, so that it's really well played by white hats but sometimes you think Oh wait! What what if it is still all black hats we're, and we're behind? But I think at this point, all timelines will come together when the media is finally going to be taken down. Well, uh, I hope so. I hope it's before I have my lunch. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. The minute we get any more news between the three of us, we'll try and keep you updated. The three of us, because we've got three different points of contact here, and they're all yes. coming together right now, which is brilliant. Yes. So we're able I think, to the, big, I think the, best, the biggest message for people to understand now is don't be scared. Don't be, yeah. this, is, this is all going to go somewhere good. Even if the media is going to go down, if it's going to go dark, even if we're going to get a nuclear scare, which is not going to happen, it's just a scare. Even if we have biblical events taking place, war, it is necessary for a global awakening this 4D chaos will bring us to 5D uh, heaven on earth. We'll be liberated. Mm. Yeah, I totally agree. And you're absolutely right. Um, fear will kill you. Absolutely. But, um, don't, feed, don't feed the fears, we say. The one, the one thing I just want to interject, I don't know if either of you have heard that, but I've understood that there's been a tacit nod that Russia will keep out of it. Correct. Have you heard yeah. that? Yeah. Yes. And I think just like we, um, Simon and I are two guys, when you see the, and you'll notice this as well, Daniel, the relationship between Putin and Trump, the body language, forget the language, the communication, the body language, they're, they're two guys that get on extremely well. Extremely well. Um, Remember that moment. Respect. Remember that moment when they passed over the football? Yep. That was the biggest comms that they were everything was fine and they were on board together. They're a team. Yeah. And also because, when they, when he walked past Angela Russia Merkel. Has always, Russia has always I'm been sorry. played out as the enemy. Russia has to stay out now to yeah. get a better uh, image, to get their true image back. Well, Trump will repay them without a shadow of a doubt if they stay out of it. But they, when when um, Trump uh, when Putin walked up to Trump to shake his hand and walk past Angela Merkel, that in itself was a big big sign to the world as to who was his friend and who was his enemy. He yes. totally dislikes her. Trump absolutely dislikes. Do you remember in one of the conferences when they were breaking and he went up to uh, Merkel? This is Putin and said, "I think uh, he said exactly what Trump had said. I think you should pay compensation to Poland." <laughs> 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 Trump and from Putin. That's why Merkel uh, was realizing that her connections to the past were well understood. Exactly right. Well, you know, mo most people, for people who don't know, she was born in East Germany, not West Germany. Yes. So she's, and she's, she's, it's in her DNA. Yes. Yes. I did a, oh, oh good, good, it's me. Seven, eight years ago, I did a, a conference, and I obviously have to be careful in Britain, but I had pictures, and for some reason, she'd done a conference and she dressed completely in black. I, honestly, I don't know why. So I had all the pictures there with our hand positions and then a, another infamous person. And you would say that there must be a connection because the way she was holding her body was so similar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, we, exactly. I, think we've, I think we've all seen the pictures of her sisters and her parents and who are true family bloodline is. But yeah. I think we could do another video on that just by yeah. itself. I think that yeah. should be... That should be probably on the educational platform we should be gathering to, to, to start rewriting history and, you know, in, I said to in the Charlie, line of truth. You, you know, you, you are absolutely really here on the moment because I said to Charlie that in 1945 there was a denazification program. And I think what yeah. we need now is a program to 
educate people to alert them which may take months but i really think there's a need to we, because people won't, to. Won't, won't believe it you know they, they we have to show it on my facebook page i've been writing all year long all these truths all these histories but i know that it's going to be so shocking for people my grandparents are still alive they're 93 mm. 94 if they right. hear that the second world war went down differently than they thought yeah we, we the win. nazis were are still actually in charge and that's going to that's well, going the, to fourth reich, the fourth reich is there underground so yeah i'm 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 really hopeful listen it's been lovely charlie thank you so much thank you very much and, very and Danielle, it, it's lovely to meet you for the first time yes hopefully. very nice yeah. to meet you as well I'll get this out. Can... I'll get this out this morning. So this is our Monday yes. morning update on what's happening. All right. Very, very important news. Thank you very much, Simon. God Thank bless you very everybody. much, Danielle. Thank you. Bye-bye.